Time now is 8.04, and the entrance to the Aloha Stadium swap meet just reopened a few minutes ago, and it's the start of what many vendors hope will be a return to normalcy as Wednesday operations have now resumed. That's right. And Dallas Ontiveros is there live now this morning and joins us with the very latest details. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Kelly and Christine. That's right. Almost a year Wednesdays have been shut down when it comes to the swap meet. So you could just tell that the energy and the excitement is here already. We actually have a few people who already entered Aloha Stadium since it opened at 8 o'clock this morning. But here joining us on Wake Up Today, we have very someone very special. This is Clarence Nishikata with the Nishikata Sea Plant Nursery. Aloha. How's it going, Clarence? Fine. Good. So I want to ask you, what time did you wake up this morning? I woke, woke up about 4 o'clock in the morning, 4.30. Four, okay, that sounds like us. Well, that's our first show. But uh, I want to ask you a little bit about your products. This is really cool right here. Right. It was meant mostly for tourists and local people. The Primaria business is very, very popular right now. Mm -hmm. And before the COVID-19, Wednesday was my better day. Yeah. And since the COVID-19 started, the business is down about 50%. But oh, wow. I still need to survive to pay my bills. So absolutely. hopefully it'll be a good Wednesday. Yeah, let's pray and let's hope. And it absolutely is going to be a great Wednesday because we're going to have people coming over here and supporting you. But let's talk about how this is actually a pretty great gift and sort of a nice little project to have since we kind of have so much downtime. Tell us a little bit how you make the plumerias grow. Basically, these are the plumeria plants from Hawaii. Okay. Most tourists, like... Most, mostly in Washington State, California, Texas. For some reason, they keep buying it. These are the easiest plant to grow. Basically, all you need is about two gallon pot. Put this in the pots, take it down about an inch or two, water lightly off, and they'll be growing in no time at all. And what do you say, like about less a week or in a few days? Uh, it takes about three months before the leaves and the roots appear. Oh, wow, and okay. About a year before you have flower. Nice. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's a dedicated project. You gotta commit to us. And and this is how they look when they start to bloom, which yeah. is an awesome gift for anyone who is thinking about traveling to Hawaii in a safe way. But uh you mentioned that tourism was a big part of your yes. business. I know tourism is slowly picking up, but um what is it that local people can do to support you? How can they get a hold of you if they kinda wanna do this with their cake here just by themselves? Yeah, a lot of local people are starting to be interested in plumerias. They like to plant it. And mostly Hawaiian people that move up to the mainland, they keep buying it. So local people buy it here and they bring it up to their family. It's sort of that little light, uh, that taste of home. Or not really a taste, but that little life of home that you could take with you anywhere. Yes. That's really special. Well, anything that else you want to share about the experience or just how this is really going to change things for you? Yeah, it's a good business. It's good for Hawaii. I know some people used to come over from Japan and other parts of the mainland just to buy the plumeria. It's very popular in the mainland USA. All right. Well, it's popular here on Wake Up Today, and we appreciate your time, Clarence. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Aloha. Thank and, of course, we are going to be hanging out here for Take Two, but if you want some more details about how things are looking like when it comes to the SWAT meet here at Aloha Stadium, you can check our website at khwin2.com for more information. Reporting from Aloha Stadium, Dallas Navarros, KHWIN2 News, working for Hawaii. Thanks so much, Dallas. And, Kel, I got to say, good variety there at the SWAT meet. We saw food, we saw shirts, we saw, you know, hair pieces, artwork, plants, and so much more now. It's a one-stop shop for everything you need, so if you can, go out and support those local vendors. Coming up next, we've been hearing more about this. Burglarized in their own 